A lot of the leaders here on the ground, um, although you have some traditional organizations who are here on the ground and they have an amazing leadership team, you have a lot of new leaders who rose up just because they're, they know in their heart that this is not the right thing to do. They don't, they know um, like the experiences that they and the injustice that's going on, that's not the right thing. They're not a, a activist by trade. They know in their hearts, they love people and they want peace. They want um, justice, they want equality and they're standing up. So a lot of what we've been doing is just helping them. So having strategy meetings, having them talk to other revolutionary leaders, all the way dating back to Black Panthers, like. Um, understanding the history, how they were organized, understanding their failures, talking to people in Egypt, what, how did they fall, what was their challenges, and then just kind of doing a knowledge dump and breaking away on how we can use that on the ground. Get on your phone, get on your up to our Twitter, Facebook, let everybody know we're gonna meet up at the Max Downs on Ferguson and West Florida. Ferguson and West Florida, get your phones out, text, tweet, whatever, whatever you need to do, whatever social media you win. Get on your phone, meet at the Max Downs on Ferguson and West Florida. And go, no sleep, no sleep, no sleep. We win it.
Uh, they point them out. You'll see it. Make sure you got your hand. They point them out. They're going to point out people you want to arrest. set up was being raided by about 20 police officers. I just walked over to check and you know to speak on their behalf you know I work closely with Lost Voices and just being 10 seconds on the premise um, on the site they gripped me up and it was three officers and and they arrested me they put Daisha who's 19 only 19 years old they put her in a chokehold they hogtied her and then they carried her like an animal to the car. And um, I myself has been, I have been uh, followed from a protest 25 minutes to where I'm staying. Here in the office, I have every day, there's at least two police cars that come and they circle the building trying to intimidate us. This morning, just for our women's meeting, um, luckily, we had 120 women of color here. There were nine state troopers outside of our building. So just being a person of color, they're intimidating. Being a woman, they do talk to you, um, but they also talk to you in a really controlling way. Like, oh, um, be nice to me and I'll be nice to you. Like, you don't want me to make it too hard on you. Um, when we were arrested, they were talking to us like in a really like, oh, I normally don't don't like to arrest girls I'm attracted to. Justice means that everyone's free, everyone's equal, and we don't have to look over our shoulders and the cops are actually protecting and serving us for once. Us as youth have risen up and took charge and we're leading the movement and, you know, we're trying to make changes and get the youth out to register and all that. For a cop to really think that after the Mike Brown situation, how we reacted for them to do it again to a 17-year-old who had a sandwich and then executed them, shot that little boy 17 times, it, it was ridiculous. Like, we have to show them that we, we as the people, we're running the show, not you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.